like and subscribe and I am excited to see you. Uh, I wanted to jump on here because I just felt inspired and you should always do, you should always follow through on what inspires you. Uh, I made a video, the last video I made, I was talking a lot about separation and doing my best to to talk about that because it's not an easy topic to talk about. Um, and yeah, and I was just thinking about this. I kind of dovetailed on this a little bit in the last video, but it's like, I was thinking about compassion. And so I have, I have like a mentor, a friend mentor. And honestly, he is obsessed with making a difference for other people. Like, that's his MO. That's, like, all he wants to do. I mean, it's not all he does. He he, uh, he has a job. Like, he has a wife. He, like, he has other things going on. But at the end of the day, like, that's what he's committed to, is making a difference for other people. And sometimes I get kind of annoyed with him because it's like, ugh, ugh. like, do you have to be so good? And... And oftentimes, you know, you can hear that kind of advice, like, um, yeah, the, I, I don't know if you've ever heard this, but it's like, if ever you're feeling down or depressed or stressed, actually the very best thing you can do, see, you can get a little bit stuck, but the very best thing you can do is go help someone. Take your mind off your problems, go solve someone else's problems. And this, this does really work. The reason why I'm like, uh, be careful with this is you really have to examine the motives behind it because if you're just yeah if you have like no sense of self and you're just giving to provide some kind of feeling of um of self by uh by being see like what I'm what I get frustrated with my with my friend about if you're just if you think that the reason to do something is like because then you're a good person and you're not a good person if you don't don't go help people because it's it's not going to work it's not going to come across in the right way because you're going to be forcing something to happen and and if you're just doing it from a place of like general like pure generosity generosity at its at its true nature, then you're not really gonna care about the outcome. Like you're gonna care, but you're gonna be unattached in a certain way. But anyway, um, thinking about separation and and leading into this, um, yeah, the thing is who we really are is, is beyond so there's like this physical element, there's this like point of view, right? Like I talked about in the in the last video, but but actually who we are is like is not separate, right? So whenever you go out and you are with someone, I mean, it doesn't even have to be helping. It can just be like with someone, like really with them, really present with them. You are actually closer in that moment to your true nature. The minute, like, so anything that really like takes you off this, like, I think of it like suction cups, like, like identifying with this is like, you're, you're sucked in, you know? And, and when you can release those like octopus tentacles and, and be more in alignment with what you really are. It feels so good. We know it feels good. And this this also is, I think, why creativity is so important and why we get so much from creativity is because when you're creating something, like, you know, it's it's in the definition of the word. You are creating something that doesn't exist. You are going beyond what is here and you are bringing into existence that which is like is ephemeral is is just an idea is just a spark is just kind of like in the air right is is more than you 
and then you bring it into existence and and in that way you like lose yourself right because it becomes more important this thing that doesn't exist yet than what does and and like creativity doesn't have to be art it doesn't have to be painting or or cooking or it's anything it's anything that is a is is creative and sometimes and and really actually like the greatest create creation is is creating yourself like people don't think of it this way but you your like identity it it's a creation you you made it up you you made her up you made him up and uh and the thing is then you stopped or I'm maybe you didn't but that's also why like growth feels so good you know Tony Robbins talks about like the seven needs of humanity and I forget what they are because I don't like follow Tony Robbins a lot but I but he talks a lot about uh like that growth growth is like a fundamental human need and the thing is like yeah if we're not growing uh, we're going against, we're going against our true nature. Like we're always expanding. We're always more, more, more. The universe is expanding. We're the universe. So we're expanding. We're expanding. And it only hurts when we try to fight that, right? Which is why losing yourself in a creative endeavor feels so good because it, it's actually right. It's actually in alignment with us. And, uh, and so, yeah, wherever you can find those things in your day, you know, like really, really cultivate them, really take advantage of them. And they're everywhere. They're everywhere. It's in the telling of a joke. It's in the making someone else smile. It's in, it's in like appreciating something, you know? Appreciation doesn't doesn't exist. You make it. You do it. Excitement doesn't exist. You make it. You you are the source of it. You do it. You like you create it in this moment where it might otherwise not have been. Um it's like it's why we get lost in a book. I love getting lost in a book. Now like yes, there's a story and we get swept along with the story. But a book is participatory. Like, if you don't invest, if you don't get swept, you know, get swept up in it, then then the book doesn't work. You know, it has to be read. So you are creating all those images as much as the author. Um, and yeah, it's everywhere. It's everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And so the more that you can lose yourself in your activities and your endeavors, honestly, the happier you are. And of course, like this is a little bit of a balancing act because, and I'm, I'm very much working this out. There's, there's the physical, there's like gravity, right? There's the physical, there's like what is trying to bring us down make us realistic and make us practical and make us physical and embodied, right? And then there's also um, this, this expansion, right? This, this like, this, this realm that I obviously love to live in so much. And, and you need to find a balance between the two. So it's about like expanding, right? and then anchoring that expansion because it doesn't really do anything for you. <laughs> you know, it's like a, a, a reading a book, watching a movie, being inspired. Unless you bring it home in some way, unless you take some piece of knowledge, some like, aha, some revelation, and you bring it home and you embody it, it's not really going to change your life. So, so it's this back and forth, 
you have to you have to bring it into yourself in some way and and actually physicalize it actually like be it for it to for it to I don't know do you any good you know um and it's when like you've embodied it that then then you can continue to expand because if it's just if it just stays out there it just stays out there so that's something I'm really working with is like and and by the way like the perfect example of this is yoga so this is something that I uh, I didn't know and then my roommate told me about this like when she was doing a yoga teacher training and I found it really really interesting but then of course I like I dropped it <laughs> and I'm I'm relearning it now is like so yoga has these two sides that I just talked about and uh and it's not it's not just strength and it's not just flexibility to put it into those terms but really it's like i mean yoga is a trinity so you're working you're working like mind body and breath in all those in all those ways um but you, right, you want to be expanding, you want to be stretching, you want to be like reaching for these poses, you know, and, and breathing into all those spaces, but then you also want to be anchoring and engaging the muscles um, while you do this. And, and that's something I definitely didn't used to do, because, because uh, it felt like work. And, and I, have had this relationship with work that feels suffering and painful to me but now I don't know if it's just that like I have a new per perception about it I just don't mind it I see I see it has another use um and it's not necessarily work it's just like it's embodiment right it's bringing it home it's bringing it home so uh yeah bring it home Bring it home. Okay, there's like a blizzard outside and I don't know if I'm gonna go for a walk today, but maybe I will. It's very impressive. I love you. Okay guys, I love you.